Okay, so here we are in, we have cPanel and we have the dashboard of WordPress open. So the way to get to cPanel is to put in your domain name.com slash c-p-a-n-e-l and then you put in your username and password. If you get a turnkey blog, it'll say FTP slash cPanel and it'll give the domain, your domain name, the slash cPanel. Um, and of course, you know how to sign in to your dashboard. So I'm in Mark's dashboard because I'm going to use his master key site as an example of how to install the follow me button. It's actually, I think it's called the follow button. And while I'm in here, I'm just going to do a few updates for him. I'm just going to check off the ones that have these yellow flags underneath them. And I'm going to press update and apply and just update the plugins that he's got going. Okay, so that should be fine. We'll return to the WordPress update because we're going to do one more update. Just the uh, update to WordPress 3.8. Okay, so here's the WordPress 3.8 dashboard. So we're going to go right into plugins and we'll go to add new. That'll bring us right to the search screen. So I'm going to look for follow. And I, I know the author's name. Um, it reminds me of a Star Wars name. So it's pretty easy for me to remember that this is the right one. It's Aditya Jane. Um, so that's the right one. So we're going to press install now. And yes, we want to install the plugin. And we're going to activate the plugin. Now we need to install one more plugin in order to make this work. And that's going to be the SMTP. So we're going to search. This is the one I've been using, pretty sure. Let's just check the details of it. Make sure it works with this version. Yep. So I'm going to install this one. And this just makes it so that your WordPress can send emails. So we're going to activate that. And we're going to make sure in his settings that he has an email that is the domain name. So we have info at mlmserventleader.com. Perfect. So now we're going to go over to the cPanel. We have the cPanel open for a reason. We're going to go to email accounts. And we're going to go to this email account that we just made sure was the one. And we're going to go to configure. Although we're not going to do anything to configure it, we need these settings. So now we're going to go back to here. And we're going to go to the easy WP SMTP. So the from email address, it describes it underneath the email address that will be used to send emails to your recipient recipients. So that's the info at MLM servant leader.com. From name is who we want them to see that the email is from. So that would be Mark. SMT post, I mean host, sorry, that's going to be over here. So we're going to go, this is the SMTP, SMTP host. 
and we're using the secure settings. Um, see here it says non, non SSL, um, secure SSL and non SSL. We want to use the secure. So we're going to put, so type of encryption is SSL. Uh, the port that will be used to relay outbound mail is this one here, the SMTP port, so it's 465. SMTP authentication, um, and it says here the option should it always be checked yes. So username, the username that you use to log into your mail server. So this is going to be right here, tells you username. Oh, we want to get the whole thing. So it's the same as your email address. We'll make sure that's all the way at the front. And the password. Okay, so we're going to save the changes. Now I'm going to go over to Let's go right into plugins. We're going to go to install plugins and follow is right here. Hmm. It's already activated. Oh, here it is. Comes down in the menu here. So, we want to go to settings. And obviously the stuff that's in red is important. So we want to set a default subscribe page where you have inserted the S2 button. And it says in order to get a fun functional fo follow floating button, you must set this to subscribe. For installing instructions, please. So we're going to name the page subscribe. So we need to make a page. Add new and we're going to call it subscribe. Now I just know from doing this before that we need to press this yellow button while we're on the subscribe page. It's going to make um, this page active with this plugin. So the button, the yellow button was actually installed by this plugin. So press the yellow button and this form shows up in here. So that's all. We're going to check to disable sociable. Um, we're going to exclude this page in list of pages. We're going to check here to disable the sending of an email notification for this post or page. So just know that when you're publishing something, if you don't want that to go out to your subscribers, always scroll down to the bottom and there's that option. So, and then we're going to publish this. Then I'm going to go over to menus and just make sure it didn't show up in the menu. So there's subscribe in our menu and we want to tell this to get out of here and save the menu because you don't want that subscribe button up in your menu. So now we're going to go back over to the follow to the settings and make sure that we've done everything in there. So we need to set this up to subscribe. No, we don't want to show a link. Show the S2 button on the right toolbar. Uh, enable Ajax. All these say this must be enabled. So obviously we need to enable this stuff. So we're going to send admins notifications for subscriptions. If you want them for un unsubscriptions and subscriptions, you can just click both. 
I'm going to leave it just on subscriptions. Welcome to change that. Um, let's see, include. No, nope, we don't need to do that. Send emails for pages. It says no. If you want to, just click it to yes. Send emails for password protected posts. No. Send emails for private posts. No. Send email from author. Um, yeah, it's really up to you how you sign in. Um, I'll just say post author. Send emails for each post. People choose to get digest, then they get it at 12 a.m. And that's pretty much it. Down here, this will be how your email goes out. So I had one person who I set this up for, there was a period after his name and he didn't like it. So this is where you go and you fix all that stuff. If you know, get an email and you don't like the way it comes through, you come in here and you change this email. And this, these are the codes that you can use for that email. So yeah, here's the period um, when I set this up for someone else. So like, if you don't want a period after your name, just take that out. This is just the confirmation email for subscribing. So if you want to exclude certain categories, you can do that. If you want to exclude formats, um, I'm going to leave all that the way it is and I'm going to press submit. Okay, that should be all set. Now, right now, if you go into subscribers, there's nobody subscribed except for the um, admin of the site. So I'm going to go over here to visit site. I'm going to open the site in a new tab and we should see the follow button down the bottom. And there it is. So when we click on this and I put my email address in, and say sign me up, this screen comes up and says a confirmation message is on its way. If I open my email, so I wasn't finding the message in my regular messages, so I did have to go to spam of Gmail. Um, a lot of these free Gmail, Ymail, Yahoo Mail are cracking down on spam and it's taking things out that aren't even spam. So I'm in my spam folder and here's the link to um, that came from the MLM servant leader. It says the MLM servant leader has received a request to subscribe for this email. So all I have to do here is click on this link. And once I do that, I had already checked on the subscribers page. This is what it looks like when someone hasn't confirmed. And you can always, if you're sure that they want to be confirmed, you can always just check this box and confirm them yourself. But I'm going to reload and refresh this page. And instead of the exclamation point there, it'll change to a check mark. So I'm going to try this one more time to show you how it works um, and to show you how it works when you want to uh, put someone in yourself. Like I'll put another email address of mine here, press sign me up, and then go back to the subscribers page and refresh it again. And there's that email. Now let's say this person doesn't confirm, but I'm pretty sure they want to be, I can just do that and push process and it'll do the same thing that me clicking on that email did. You don't want to do that with people that you aren't sure want to be um, on your list, but I'm just going to take my second email off of here and leave the first one on because I like to see what Mark is posting.
So whenever he writes a post, I will get an email saying that there's a new post on MLM Servant Leader. So that's all. That's how to put in the follow plugin. Mark, I'd love to see you do this on your main blog so I can know that um, the instructions were clear and concise and that you got it. So thanks for letting me use your blog as an example too. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day, and this has been Heather Plude of freedomoutofthebox.com.